this is Chris. I'm one half of the Tripping with the Chris's. And as you can see right here, I have the electric bike ST 2.0. I got that about four weeks ago. Um, about three days ago, I got the electric bike XP 2.0. And I figured, hey, I've already opened this one, put it together, put some upgrades on it. Uh, why not do it for you guys uh, with the XP? So to get it out of the box, one knife, that's to cut all the tape that tapes it up. And then I have the wire pullers or the wire clippers. I don't... No, I never really figured out what these are called. Uh, but anyways, I use these to grab the wires and pull them out. Maybe I'll just pull the box up, the lid. We'll use this in a little bit. Hey, before I pull this out, you know, the one thing that I was thinking about is, is you see all these on uh, Facebook and the Facebook groups I'm in for electric bikes and everything is the shape they come in from FedEx. So I've already walked around this box and there are no holes on the box, which is a plus because on this, on this bike, I had a hole right at the pedal where the pedal is and where the pedal folds and it rubbed a hole there. Now the cool thing is, is that the pedals fold up so all the scraping and everything that was on the bike, the only damage on this bike was on the inside of the pedal. So once you unfold the pedal, put it in place, you can't, you can't see any of the scrapes or anything like that. So I did walk around this box to check for holes. That way I know where to look on the bike uh, to see if there's any damage. So now that I got that out of the way, let's pull the bike out. Um, also, I'm doing it. I'm doing this review about 115 in Texas. Just telling you, it's hot. I've already switched out one shirt. Probably won't switch this one out. It's gonna be hot and sweaty. So, anyways, here we go. Let's pull the bike out, and then we'll uh, start taking all the packing away. All right, out of the box. Now we're gonna start pulling the packing away little by little. This is where I use these clips for the uh, draw tights and I catch them right at the uh, little square part where the, the tail end goes through the hole. And then I snip it right there. All right, two things come in the box. This box and the bike. In this box, we have the owner's manual and another box. In this box, we have the battery charger. The one thing about the uh, battery that comes with the bikes is that they're they're not fully charged. And uh, before you start riding, after you get your bike set up, before you start riding it, you want to fully charge your battery. All right. So we take the wire cutters and I cut the pull tight draws, the draw tights right here where it goes into the where the the uh, tail, I don't know, the loose end goes into the dead end which is this end right here and I cut right next to it, that way I'm not anywhere close to the uh, close to the bike so one thing that I will say 
when they do come. They, they wrap these things up really, really nice. They also have cardboard wrapped around the LCD screen. Um, you may get the E10 code on your LCD screen. Uh, with the step through, we got the E10 error code on our LCD screen. Called up Electric, they told me to take a picture of the LCD screen showing the E10, shot them an email. I had a new screen back in about four days. Installed it, took less than five minutes to install it. We'll go through that as well when I do the upgrade video. All right, remember uh, I said that the battery doesn't come fully charged you need to charge the battery so one of the things you need is your keys they tie your keys onto your frame so grab your keys while you're doing this and pull your pull your battery out The key sticks in the bottom of the frame, right at the battery, right where the uh, there's a little uh, metal bolt, little metal stud that sticks through the frame, it locks the battery in place. The key goes right there at the bottom. All right, so I had to move positions. I had to take the camera, put it in the shade because it was out in the sun. And if you didn't catch the very beginning of this, we're in Texas just uh, north of Houston and it's hot I've already changed my shirt once getting drenched again um, but one of the things uh, as you're unpacking the battery is in the frame it's already folded in half the keys are tied off to the frame uh, my keys were tied off right here at the back rack so grab them The key slot is underneath the frame. There's a little metal bar that sticks through the frame on the battery right here. It sticks out of the battery when you tick. put the key in. The key goes right here. You turn the key. The little bar goes out through the frame. That's what locks it in place. Unlock it. The little bar goes back into the frame. Pull it out and go charge it. You might as well charge it while you're finishing it up so you can ride the bike when it's done and you you're all done setting it up so I'll be right back cuz I'm going to charge mine all right if anybody's counting this is shirt number three um, yeah I have some we had some warranty I had to stop for a little bit that's the nice thing about videotaping is you can stop and start when you need to I had some warranty work I needed done on my trailer all that's done, I was still, might as well change out the shirt, so I'm on shirt number three. All right, so let's get back to setting up the, the bike. Okay, so your steering tube, it comes up, locks into place. Handlebars, they come up, and there's a flat side on the handlebar. There's a flat side in the steering tube, so you cannot screw this up. Well... I shouldn't say you can't screw it up because somebody somewhere is going to screw it up. Flat side of the the handlebar goes into the flat side of the steering tube. Okay. Uh, close the clamp down on the steering tube. It should be tight enough so that when you push it all the way in, it leaves a little imprint on your palm. Uh, and that's typically tight enough. Finish pulling the wrapper off. It's your little safety checklist uh, 
uh, for your pre-ride. All right, now I'm gonna unfold the rest of the bike. Okay, so you unfold the bike. All right, clamp goes down and in place. And then you're, all right, so we're at least this far. Seat, unclamp the seat, pull the plastic tubing off, put the seat down, I'll adjust it in, uh, later when I get the, uh, the battery put in. Um, on, the, on the handlebars, there's a max height line, so you got to make sure that you're below your max your your max height line is below uh, your steering right so and I'm not sure where my wife's is but it's pretty comfortable where here where hers is it, I'll probably put mine about the same uh, the seat on mine will probably go a little higher all right so there you go we're all put together uh, the tires are a little under inflated you know, I get, I read a bunch of uh, different, uh, you know, air pressures for the tires and everything. So there's a couple things with the 2.0 is now you have uh, front shocks and they're adjustable. Um, right here, an open in and close in, it adjusts the the, uh, the shocks and, and how hard they are. Um, one other, there's a couple other things is on on our bikes i i upgraded to a shock uh seat uh seat stem so i have that as well um we also have the uh the extra wide seat that uh electric has so with all that being said i have her tires no! pressurized to 60 psi which is what is recommended on the tires uh, on the bike now that being said there's a lot of people that run them 45 50 35 whatever um, I think 65 so far as we've been riding has been great uh, so now all I have to do is wait for the battery to get fully charged pull this clamp right here maybe open up Open it up, slide the battery inside the tube right here, and then uh, all right. Okay, so that's the unboxing of the electric bike XP 2.0 in Texas in the middle of the day, sweating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna do uh, another video of the upgrades. I have a phone bike uh, holder that goes on the handlebars. I've got the electric rear view mirror, so we're gonna see how that works. Um, I've got the seat to put on mine, and I've also got the, um, the shock absorber whatever you want to call it uh, seat post right here I've got that and we'll install that as well on the next one all right hope you guys enjoyed it thanks remember uh, to subscribe like and ring the bell for notifications once again this is Chris one half of tripping to the Chris's thanks everybody talk to you later bye